9,525 pounds, one owner, Jayco Destination Trailer with a beautiful front kitchen and living room mega slide, bedroom king bed slide. Coming in here at Haylet RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan. Sold to its one and only original owner at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, just one mile west of here. And it was parked only about six miles east of here. So this thing in total has, I don't know, 70 miles on the chassis and tires. Other than that, it's been parked its whole life. And the only thing I could say that isn't right with it is that it just it doesn't look like they used it in the last year. It just needs it just needs dusted inside. Other than that, she's good to go. Now this is similar to a Jayco bungalow. This is basically the uh, the simplified series of Jayco bungalow, the Jayco DST series, destination series, travel trailer. Kind of makes sense, right? Um, overall, it's got basically the same shell and construction. It's just that the appointments are a little simpler. You know, it's it's something that's like good for visiting. There's nothing that says you couldn't live here in the summer. It's definitely got the space for it. Um, it, it looks like they swapped up some of the original furniture in the slide. That's not the original factory sofa and chair, although having a handy little power recliner there never seems to offend anybody. Other than that, everything, um, well, the master bed actually was is not factory. Instead, they put a king sleep number in, which I don't know if you've ever bought a sleep number bed. I bet they spent close to four grand on that. Easy. So uh, three if they were lucky, you know, since it's just the mattress and not the base and all that stuff. But other than that, I mean, it looks looks really good. I don't see where it's all scarred up and banged up. It looks like something that they just visited from time to time. And it, there's some local campgrounds around here that are, um, actually, they've been pushing some people out of some seasonal sites and uh, to build room for some cabins. And a couple people didn't take kindly to it and said, well, huh, I guess I'm done then. So that's probably why this is here. I don't have confirmation of that, though. Excellent cabinet space. I mean, tons of overhead cabinetry here. Lots of counter and window space. And I mean, like I said, prep space for days. And I am a sucker for any time we get ourselves a nice little breakfast bar like that. It's always a uh, popular feature whenever I see it. Spinning ourselves around here. It does have a handy little floating ottoman. You could kick your feet up on that thing. That actually gives you an idea what the original furniture color in here was. Although with the light coming in from that giant patio window, not so much. So let me get up here a little bit closer. Um, scaling up from there. Electric space heating fireplace. Our entertainment unit is kind of hidden to the right of the mantle. You see it over there. And then all the original electronics still present and accounted for. This is dual central AC. It does have enclosed heated belly. So it is something that's going to be great for those, you know, that spring, summer, fall, destination, getaway type use. And with the really tall ceilings and the wider body, it feels good in here. Now there's a couple little spots where you could see where they had used the chairs quite a bit and the chairs kind of rubbed a little spot in the carpet. Remember guys, it's a couple years old. It is used. It is not brand new. But I'm going to do my job of pointing those things out to you so that, you know, they don't come as a uh, nasty surprise when you come visit us here at Halet RV Brokers. Um, walk through, middle bath. Now remember, because we do have such a tall ceiling, we have that, you know, you're, you're never going to hit your head in the shower basically. Plenty of room in there. Porcelain foot flush stool behind that door. And like I said, it needs dusted in here. That's the only thing I can really say negative about the coach. And I always try to point out the good and the bad. It's it's basically, ver they added a light up there. That's nice. That You know, I bet they, they you could really use that extra lighting in here. But they did a good job kind of hiding it behind and through the medicine cabinet, didn't they? I didn't even pick it up. Looks like they replaced some faucet hardware as well. And over here, we've got ourselves huge closet storage space. But it is capable of a combo or stackable washer dryer sliding pocket privacy door back here to our sleep number king bedroom handy little wireless remote control there very very cool and unless they did something wacky there should still be storage under that thing little storage above the bed looks like they gave themselves a little remote control basket holder on the right side there and then big closet space on the back here. And again, dual central air. But if you want, you can flip those fins open and cold air dump all that AC uh, right in here if you want to breathe the icicles at night. Now, under that closet, there's actually triple, double or triple dresser drawers. So good space there. And part of the reason the outside of the RV generally looks good is it looks like there's an RV cover included with it right there. Right below that little corner desk space, which I love. I love anytime there is a little desk area in a coach or a camper or anything like that. It's kind of one of those nerdy sucker things that always reels me in every single time. And I would guess largely due to that full cover, uh, this thing has avoided the brunt of Midwestern, you know, falls, winters, uh, the, the harshest of weather. So it's just kind of been out for summertime whenever they happen to use it. Beyond that, 
you know, exterior looks pretty good. So we're going to be pretty brief out here. Uh, I do want to circle back and mention one time real quick. It does have an enclosed heated belly. Uh, another thing is that this does have a larger, like, 10-gallon uh, gas and electric fifth wheel size water heater to give you, you know, a couple back-to-back -back showers without running out. Now, anytime we get something like this, uh, you know, a pre-owned destination trailer that doesn't cost, like, the 40000 brand new dollars, people are virtually fighting over them. Most of the time, it's always like, who, who can give us a call first? So, if this is something that you're looking for to get on your site and ready for summertime, since it's actually technically still spring right now, even though it's 90 degrees out, which is glorious compared to the Midwestern weather that we often get this time of year, by the way, um, I, I would... Here's my message. Take all the time you need, but need all the time you take, because stuff like this doesn't last long. You know, it's perfect for having a deck. The two steps can fold up out of the way. There's no slides over here on the door side if you really needed to. We could probably pop the awning off if you had, like, a hard shell cover for it. Big patio door with the uh, vertical Venetian-style blinds to give you privacy or light, whatever you're looking for. It's pretty sharp. Like, uh, you know, simple series, but smart series. It's, it doesn't feel at all like it's lacking anything. I'm real happy with what I see here. So give us a call. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet Camping, everyone.